Hi everyone. So next we want to study random forests. So random forests are basically the same as bagging, but only one difference. So only the um, limited number of predictors is allowed for each tree. So in random forests, the each tree is allowed to use randomly selected m predictors out of all p predictors. So often m is just the uh, third of p or square root of p. So in um, okay, so in each step for each tree that we have bootstrapped observations, but also that we randomly choose a certain number of variables, um, and we can only use those variables to make a tree. So that means that we have more limited information. So it sounds it's worse. But actually, so the this idea is that the to diversify the trees. Okay, so if every time we use the same variables, then um, all trees are similar. So we don't have a kind of a smoothing effect of the um, final surface. But the, if we generate the each fitted value, the f1 hat, f2 hat, and so on. If we use different predictors for each of the three, then we diversify this f1 hat to fb hat. So finally, if we take the average, then performance gets better. So this is pretty uh, unintuitive idea, but actually often it works better than um, bugging. So this is uh, the performance, the comparing the three different um, random forests, just the different m's. So first one, so orange one is m is equal to p. So this is the bugging, okay, of tree method. And m is the p over two, so just a half of variables. That is blue one. And the green one is the m is equal to square root of p. So the yellow one is bugging, so this is the baseline, but actually if we choose m is equal to square root of p, the, we get better test classification error. So often the smaller m performs the better. So that's the idea of random forests. Okay, see you then.